All right, here's me and Skyler. We are gonna be doing a awesome painting. We are up in Prescott, Arizona right now, getting ready to do some fun painting together. You ready, Skyler? Yes. Yeah, what do you wanna paint? What do you feel like? Um, how about you pick? Okay, I can pick. All right, I'll pick this time and then we'll figure it out, okay? Okay. Okay, Skylar, I want you to show off all the colors we're gonna use. So we're gonna be using this teal color. Okay. Black. Sweet. Yellow. Perfect. Red. Red. Green. Green. And the last color, white. Whoa, nice. All right, let's get ready. Find your brushes. Let's do it. The first color we're gonna use is green. green. Put some green on our plate. We got a little bit there. And then here's Skylar's plate. We got some green going on over there. So we're actually doing this remotely from my grandparents' house here. See, there's grandpa in the background. Hey! <laughs> so we're actually just doing this remotely. We wanted to do a fun painting for you guys. So we're gonna do a nice little wreath. We're gonna start off with our green. And we're gonna take our brush. You can use a small brush or a medium sized brush, no big deal. Okay. And what I want you to do is just really try to draw as best as you can, just a nice circle on your canvas. It's okay if it's a little messy, if it doesn't make sense. See, mine's a little lopsided. Don't worry about that. See, there's Skylar, she's starting to get hers. Now Skylar's left-handed, so she actually is not sticking her arm in my area here, so that's perfect. So we're gonna just make a nice circle, big circle. There you go. All right. Okay, see? And she's just making hers a little bit better. So what you do is because it's not so perfect is you actually take your brush, put a little bit more green on there, and we follow our circle, but we start dabbing or blotting your brush, okay? And what I want you to do is take that paint as far as you can go without putting any more on your brush. All right, the line that we made was just to get a good idea of where we're gonna put our dabbing or our blotting, but this is where you can actually make it look a little bit more round, okay? But by doing the blotting or dabbing, it adds imperfections, it makes it look like it's okay if it's not so perfect. There's Skylar working on hers. Look at that, beautiful job, Skylar. I'm gonna show yours off while I work on mine. And this is just a simple step, but it's so awesome. It makes such a fun impact on your canvas. That is looking fantastic, Skylar. Thank you. You're welcome, yeah, good job. All right. It is a lot. <laughs> I know, take your time on it, but see like, see that I'm taking the paint as far as I can go and I'm still going. Sometimes your paint's pretty wet and you wanna be careful with it. You don't use too much, all right? All right, once you run out of paint, you can put some more on your brush and you see how I'm kind of twisting and turning my brush? That adds some different dabbing and blotting effects on the awesome canvas here. I'm gonna take some of this green paint that's still wet over here. You can see it's still glossy and wet. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit more on this side from there. All right, here we go. Let's add some more. And it's kind of cool because you go all the way around. See, Skylar, look at that. Wow, good texture on yours. That is, I'm, I'm very proud of you. Doing such a good job. Look at, look at that concentration. Say hi to everybody, Sky. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. All right, I'm coming back to mine here because I'm getting closer. It's okay if you're not. Take your time. That's the fun part about this is you get to take your time and find out which way works best for you. All right. Beautiful reef. Look at that. Yeah. Just kind of have fun with it, all right? So keep it going. Dab and blot that brush. 
We want imperfections. We don't want it to be perfect, but you want to at least make it look a little round, kind of like a big giant donut. Look at Sky. Look at that. Wow, way to go. Proud of you. There we go. I'm gonna start letting my green dry off and you remember how to do uh, our certain technique to make it dry off faster. Skylar's gonna show that here soon. But right now we're gonna just put our green on there and we're gonna let it dry off. Uh, look at Skylar, she is fanning off her canvas. And that's an easy, quick way to get your painting dry, all right? That's a perfect little example right there. Way to go, Skylar. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do our next color. Skylar, what do you think it's gonna be? Ooh, come mm -hmm. on. Red? No, we're gonna actually black. use this color. Black. Whoa, black, oh my black. gosh. So this is a really, yeah, we just need a little bit, yeah. So just a tiny bit, because black really can go a long way. So we only need just a tiny drop, perfect, for my plate. And then we got Skylar with her plate. Good job, way to go. All right, I'm gonna take this camera here and we're gonna take our brushes, same ones we were using. It's okay if you rinse them off, it's okay if you kept the green on there, no big deal. So what we're gonna do- black covers everything. It does, it does. So we're just gonna take a, small, a tiny bit on our corner right here, just a tiny, tiny bit, and mix it into some of our green. So just a little bit of, just do it on the side of your green. Don't do it through the whole bit of green. And you can see it's making a dark kind of mucky green. Oh, Ooh, it's mucky. Green. Ooh, it's mucky. Okay, and then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our brush and we're just gonna kind of break up some of this green, the regular green, and add some little dark areas here, just so it looks like some little basic shadows, kind of just having fun with this. We took our black, made a darker green, and what this does is it adds a little bit more depth in your nice little wreath. Okay, very randomly, just breaking it up little by little. Take a look, I'm gonna bring it up close so you can see. I'm twisting and I'm turning this brush and very unevenly distributing this awesome color that really just makes this wreath look so cool. Wow, look at that texture. Look at that fun stuff. Skylar, how are you doing on yours? Good. Good, look at that, look at that texture. Way to go, champ. Oh, nice job. So see, everybody's is different. That's the best part. Hi, right, Skylar. Uh oh, she's got some Oreos. <laughs> What's our next color gonna be? Yellow. Yellow, I like it. You guessed right. You want to put some yellow on our plates? A little bit. Yeah, hold on. Let me get that. A little <laughs> bit of Oreo. <laughs> just a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit's fine. Perfect. Look at this. Wow. Good job, Skylar. Look at that. Good job. Thank you, sweet pea. You're All right. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our brush. The same one. Yep, same one, it's okay. I, I like to rinse off the black green though. You know, I rinse those off just to get, cause we're using now a real bright color. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take some of this yellow and take a little bit of green and mix a little bit of green and yellow together. I'm gonna stay away from that black. My plate's trying to move <laughs> on me here cause I'm holding the camera. Okay, and as is you can see, is it like a lime green? It's kind of like a lime green. Yeah, a good job. Green. Look at that. Good mixing, Skylar. Okay, so this is interesting. You kind of want to stay a little bit away from your black or your mm. darker areas and add little bits of highlight. Just little dabs of highlight. And this adds even more texture. Now, if it's too yellow, then add more green. If you feel like it's a little too yellow, add a little bit more green on your brush. And then this, see, look at those. It adds natural little highlights in your wreath. It's just a fun little step. Not too many highlights. 
but just enough to like, you know, make it look good, add some, you know, dimension to this. You can see I'm just staying again a little bit away from those darker green areas and kind of highlighting some of the awesome the plain green areas there. And it's okay to dry off your painting every time you add a new color. It's okay to do that. That's no big deal. So you can see, look at that. Isn't that fun? Scott, how'd you do? Look at that. Okay. Good texture. Way to go, champ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to move on to another color, but we want to make sure we get these nice and dry. Okay. And then uh, we'll keep this going. Okay, so this next color is going to be a kind of a cool color. It's definitely different, stands out. What color do you think it's going to be, Skylar? Red. Whoa, nope. Uh, white. Nope. <laughs> We're actually going to use turquoise. Yeah, go ahead and put some turquoise on our plates. How much do we need? Eh, just a little bit, it's fine. So these are some of these apple barrel paints here, just basic acrylics. You can see, just a little bit. And there you go. It's pushing out fast. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so we're gonna take our same brushes here, and again, <laughs> we're gonna add just a tiny bit of this turquoise on here. This is just gonna add, we wanna add some color on this. We wanna add some fun color. So we're gonna break it up even more. We're gonna add a little bit of turquoise into our wreath and this is just random these are just kind of like random colorful highlights just changing again the dimension of this because we want our our wreath to be a little bit different than the normal it adds just a beautiful beautiful highlight to it i and always get red first <laughs> i know you do <laughs> yeah you got your turquoise going yeah look at that I know, Skylar loves to do the red, but that will be coming, I promise. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do some of that. The only colors that are left is red and white. Red and white, that's it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, which one do you wanna use next? <laughs> <laughs> we can do red, that's okay. I know. We're gonna use red, let's do it. That's okay, you can kind of just pick and choose what you like and go with the flow. Look at that. Isn't that just such a fun little color? Look at Skylar's too. So cool. <laughs> Good job. Way to go. Good contrasting. I love that. Way to go, Skylar. I'm gonna mess up on that. It's okay if you mess up. It's all right to make mistakes. Uh, Skylar's gonna pick out some smaller brushes, so we just wanna find some small ones now. So take a look at all your different brushes. You can use the skinny ones too, like the ones you kind of draw with. Like these? Let me see. Yeah, hold them up to the camera. Yeah, those are good. I like those. Perfect. Okay, let's do some red. All right. This one's a little bit thick. So okay. I like those too. And you want to put red on our plates? Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit's needed. That's all you need. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. I think I know what we're gonna do with the red. You think you know what we're gonna do? I love it. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! You're strong. <laughs> there we go. Bird. There we go. Bird. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we're gonna take our smaller brushes now, and we're gonna put some plain red. And now we're gonna make a little bit of these little, like, kind of circles going. I knew it. You did. Oh, yeah. perfect. So. I'm gonna do one, two, three. And they're kind of close together. You can make them touch together, that's okay. There you go. Skylar's doing good. All right, let's try over here. One, two, three. Those ones are touching together even more. So you can see each one's gonna be a little bit different than the next. There we go. One, two, three. We like to have that kind of like cool number together just because it's just, it makes it look really cool. Three. Some more, right? You did five. Hold on, I'm going to pan over to you so we can see your five. 
Whoa, look at Skylar's. Look at how pretty that is. He is doing so good. Okay, one, two, three. You know, it's okay if you maybe put like two. You know, maybe there's just a couple right next to each other, you know? Or maybe one, you know? What makes it so cool is that it's just so unique to you. And maybe put one that didn't show up too much. Maybe like one of those wreath leaves are just blocking it. You never know. Okay. There's Skylar's. Wow. And that's a whole pack of berries. Yeah, that is a whole pack of berries. <laughs> That looks fantastic. Good job, Skylar. Keep it going. It's one giant berry. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's the giant berry. <laughs> All right, so we made our berries there, and we want to add a nice little highlight to make it shine. So what color are we going to use next? White. Yep, let's get some white. You want to put some white on? Uh, a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Not too much is needed for this step because we're just adding a little highlight to it. Yeah. Now Skylar says she wants to add something else to her wreath after we're done with this. What did you want to add? I'm not telling you. Oh, um, it's a secret. I like it. There's the white, just a little bit. Perfect. It blends in with the plate. <laughs> yeah, it does. It kind of blends I, in with the plate. <laughs> All right, we're going to go back to our small brushes. I rinsed them off and dried them off real quick. And then we're just gonna go back and use our small brushes and we're gonna put a no, tiny bit, white. tiny bit. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I know. Right? Watch this, so I'm gonna find one of these guys and on just this little corner here, I'm gonna add a little bit of a dot. That just shows that there's a light source coming right there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add it on this. Boom, and boom. It gives it the illusion that those are shiny. And we want to add some shine to those. Look at Skylar's already. She's doing a great job. Look at that. Got two done. Yep. Do them on the same side too. Do them all on the same side. Because that's where your light source is coming from. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. It's okay. I'm not doing them at the same time. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes you just need to put some more white on your brush. There you go. If it's really, really wet paint, then you probably want to use a little bit more white just so it stands out. Look at that, just yeah, coming so together. Good. Boom, 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 boom. I'm getting the place myself. <laughs> I'm gonna do one big light source. Okay. Take a look. Look at that. There you go. Way to go, Skylar. <laughs> Way to go, champ. All right, so I got my brushes down, and then Skylar is gonna go ahead and tell us what she's gonna do extra on hers to make it look so awesome. What if I just add it and then you can? We can do it. Can do yeah, it. okay. She's going to start adding it. And then you guys get to guess at home what she's going to make. All right, what color are you using? Black. Black, okay. Ooh, she's doing something at the bottom there. I like it. Ooh, what do we got here? Look at that. She's got some good detail. She got a little bit more black on her brush. And, oh, look at that, fancy. <laughs> little bow. Are you gonna add it? If you want me to, I can add one of mine. I don't have a whole lot of room down there. But yeah, I, maybe I'll just leave mine just like it is. So you can add like a nice little bow to yours. You can add that, but we did it, Skylar. We've made our awesome Yay! Yay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we'll get ready for our next painting coming up eventually here soon. And keep on painting, everybody. Say bye. Bye.